Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high value hi-fi home theater and headphone equipment. And today, we're talking about six of the best cheap speaker amplifiers. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about six or seven, maybe eight, of the best cheap speaker amps. Made a decision when the channel first started that I wanted to talk about extremely affordable gear. Now, some of it has been great. Some of it has been so-so. Mm, However, this wonderful journey has, we've uncovered some hidden gems. So not all of these are gonna be strictly power amplifiers. Some of them, well, almost all of them have at least volume control. Some of them have DACs. Some of them have Bluetooth. Some of them have remote controls. Others do not, but I wanted to find some really, really good amplifiers under the $300-ish mark. And really, it's going to be under $350. Wide range of prices here between, well, about $80 up to $350. So let's get started. The IEMA T9. Some people think this is a bad product, that it's not very good. There have been some that do. However, mine never has. I think this issue has been addressed and most, if not all, of the new T9s that are coming in do not have the clicking, the shutdown issues that some of the older ones have had. There's no guarantee. I cannot guarantee if you buy one and you get it in that it's not going to go to sleep too quickly or click a little bit between tracks. To be fair, many DACs that I have click between tracks. Also, one of the viewers got in and said that really the clicking is on the USB only. If you go optical, that might be why mine never had as many issues or any issues is because I was always optical into this one. Anyway, $130 has a tube buffer, Bluetooth, full DAC on the back, optical, USB, coaxial, an aux out right here, which means you can hook up a subwoofer. So you take 3.5 millimeter to RCA, and then it this will control the volume on the subwoofer once you set the levels on the subwoofer. Also has a remote control. So for $130, I think this sounds great. Has a Texas Instruments chip inside. Warm sounding, not thin. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful product. I would get it from Amazon though, and if yours has an issue, Send it back within 30 days. Also has tone controls. Very nice, very, very fully featured product. Love this thing. Aima T9, just add speakers. The Sabaj A20A, okay? The problem is I think these are sold out on Amazon. So if you buy them, you're gonna have to probably get them shipped directly from China. But this is a very versatile amplifier. Quite powerful too. 170 watts times two into four ohms, and I think 90, yeah, times two into eight ohms. Now that might be a 10% total harmonic distortion, but I will say you can get very usable power out of this, and it's kind of hefty. You can also power a subwoofer on here, and there's actually a adjustable low pass filter right there. Sorry, out of focus. You can also bridge this thing too. A lot of functionality. It's $200, no remote control. There is volume control on the front and then a huge comically large power button. IEC power connection, so the power supply is internal to this. Really like this amplifier. Can't really find it many places though. If I do find it somewhere here in the US, I will link it in the description. Not the most full, warm sounding amplifier, but with a little bit of tone controls, this is a great way to get a lot of power for not very much money. Another one from IEMA, the A07, probably the best bang for your buck amplifier you can get. Uses the Texas Instruments 3255 amp chip. Only has one set of RCA inputs. Only has volume control right here. Comes with a 32 volt power supply. You can upgrade it all the way up to 48 volts to increase the power even more. And it has socketed op amp receivers, which means you can switch out the op amps. 
You can switch them out for $10 Texas Instruments. You can switch them out for $100 Sparco Slabs. And I did a video on that. Maybe I'll link it up here. If I had to make one recommendation for the biggest bang for the buck amplifier, it would be the IEMA A07. I think it comes in around $80. With an upgradable power supply and an upgradable path for op amps, there is a lot to like about this amplifier and it can grow with you. You can add accessories later on. Just an amplifier and volume control, so you will need some type of source feeding this. Phono preamp, DAC with volume control, things like that. IEMA A07, one of the best deals in hi-fi. The SMSL DA9. I don't have it. I, it's somewhere here, but I don't have it readily available. Also, all of the products I'm going to talk about are ones that I've heard and spent time with. I'm not going to talk about anything that I haven't actually listened to. The DA9 from SMSL has remote control, has Bluetooth, also balanced in. Utilizes the Infineon 12070 chipset, which isn't always my favorite. Has a tendency to sound a little thin. However, the good thing about the SMSL DA9 is that it has baked in EQ settings. And there's one called SBD or SDB, I can't remember what it is. It sounds pretty good. Actually, it sounds very good. With the ability to do balanced inputs, single-ended inputs, remote control, and a few different EQ settings, this thing is an absolute Winner. There's also the AO200, which is fundamentally the same amplifier, with the exception that it has a USB input for something like a flash drive. So if you can't find the DA9, the AO200, pretty much the same thing. They're about ten to fifteen dollars difference in there. But if I if I needed a remote control and I was in a desktop situation, or I was in a situation where I kind of wanted to hide the amp away somewhere, maybe like a soundbar replacement or something like that, the DA9 would be on my short list, if not the only list. I think it comes in around $250. SMSL, DA9, or AO200. Another one from IEMA, the DO3. Thank goodness this isn't a beauty contest. It's like a 1980s CB radio that you would bolt into your Chevy S10. It's a little pickup truck. Anyway, this thing is fully featured as Bluetooth, as a DAC with coaxial USB digital inputs, has a subwoofer output, utilizes another Texas Instruments amp chip, but it's not the 3255. Doesn't mean it doesn't sound good though. This thing actually sounds very good. Not gonna be the most resolute on the top end, but is very full bodied and natural sounding. This comes in around $160 with an internal DAC, with a remote control, with Bluetooth, with a subwoofer out, this thing is screaming to be a soundbar replacement somewhere. Maybe something in a den or something like that. It could be your main system. $160. It's hard to beat this on value. Not going to be the most powerful thing in the world. So I would look at speakers, maybe 6 ohm. 87 db higher efficiency it'll still drive things but you're not going to drive some 4 ohm 83 db speakers with the do3 i don't have this one in anymore either but it's the emotiva a2 mini i think it comes in around 330 dollars and this thing is really a component sized ab amplifier in a smaller footprint it's now it's deep though. So even though it's not as wide as a traditional 17 inch, 16 and a half inch component, it's very deep because they have a toroidal transformer in there, class AB. This also has a headphone amplifier where you can jumper the full power section to the headphone jack. So only do that if you know what you're doing and you don't bump the volume control. A2 mini sounds great sounds exactly like the a2 maybe not quite as resolving on the top end but at 330 dollars this is a true component amplifier with volume control you're going to need a source again most of these you're going to need a source on but the a2 mini and you can put it vertical if you have enough depth wonderful amplifier at 330 dollars and actually i want to get another one in here so that i can put it in my upstairs listening room that would be my second choice for highest value. And I know it's probably the most expensive one on this list. However, you're really getting something five, $600 component type amplifier. A2 Mini from Emotiva. 
Did I miss anything or do you not agree with my list? Drop it in the comments. I'm sure I did miss something. There's a lot of great amplifiers that have been through here, but these are the ones that have really stuck out to me as being the best value and sounding the best. So if you want to support the channel, you can buy some merchandise. There'll be links in the description if you want to get a coffee mug or a t-shirt. You can also use the affiliate links to buy one of these products. Probably except for this one because I don't see it in stock anywhere. If you do use the links and buy, I do get a commission but it doesn't cost you anymore. You can also sign up for Amazon Music or Tidal Music. Links in the description. You can also use the thanks button down by the share button. Click on it, buy me a cup of coffee, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Get one of these cheap, great sounding amplifiers and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. <laughs>